Hello everyone, Starship Reviews here. Um, over the past couple of months, if you follow me on Instagram and you've seen my stories, you might know that I've been building a Daedalus-class starship from the Star Trek's Daedalus class, not the Stargate class. Uh, well, obviously. In Minecraft, at 1 to 1 scale, what I'm calling 1 to 1 scale because my ship is a little bit bigger, I started building at the cannon 105 meters, and that just seemed too small, so I kind of bumped it up to 140-something, I think. Anyway, the, um, the ship has full interior, uh, even the nacelles have interior. I don't, I don't think we're gonna see that today. I don't think I'll show that off, but it's there. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a fairly decently sized ship. It has 10 decks, I think, though I got the labeling a little bit wrong and it shows 13, weirdly, but yeah, it's, I called it the Dauntless. There were a couple of suggestions on Instagram about what to name it. Uh, there was the obligatory shippy McShip face, things like that. Um, and then somebody suggested Dauntless, and I, I quite like that name, so that's what I went with. Um, a couple of things. You can see kind of airlocks there on the sides. That yellow thing at the front of the main cylinder is... Uh, I made it sensors, not the actual deflector. Uh, the deflector is kind of at the front there, that uh, lantern and glass thing at the front of the sphere. Uh, you can see kind of inside there. You can see a little bit of the shuttle bay. Um, there are impulse engines both at the back of the cylindrical main hull and the spherical primary hull. You can see some of the other ships I've built there. You can also see the bridge briefly. Uh, going down, you can see through more of the windows, you can see that's the deflector there, and then those are sensors in the yellow. Um, on the underside here, those are fueling points, those dark spots. Uh, that's really all there is on the outside. I, um, I think we'll move on to the inside now with a look at the bridge. Okay, so deck one is the ship's bridge. I'm kind of sat a little ahead of the captain's chair right now. I'll, I'll swing around and you can see. Uh, it's kind of like the original series bridge, just maybe a little bit smaller and less colorful. Now uh, you can see the ship's nameplate here, Cairo Fleet Yard, U.S. Dauntless, class, some of the stations. I didn't really think of any specific name to the stations, any specific thing, they're just kind of configurable as they are. You can see the helm, navigation, captain's chair. I like this design of chair, the, the stairs with the sign. Yeah, that's really all there is to it. Let's get on to the next one. So this is kind of deck 1.5, it's below the bridge, and it's just this sort of circular hallway. Uh, this holds escape pods. So just kind of little things like that ringing around the side. They're below the bridge and you can use those. You can see the, the main bridge just right there. So yeah, just a little bit, little thing. On to deck two proper. So deck two is, well, it's a little bit similar to other decks. It's roughly circular. This is mostly the senior officer's quarters, so you can see the captain here, he has a, a little cabin. There's not a lot of room on this ship for anyone, so he has actually quite a lot of space. Uh, his cabin looks aft, gives him a fairly good view, and uh, door. Yeah, it's, it's, there's not too much here aside from just little officer cabins, warrant officer quarters. Um, the ship's armory is located in the racks or phasers or lasers or whatever they're using. Uh, there's the officer's wardroom up here, one of the heads. Um, the wardroom is fairly simple, it's just where the officers kind of get together for meals and they can kind of talk and maybe get a little bit of privacy on their off hours instead of being cooped up in their, their little cabin. There's a bush, it's nice. It, it's a fairly standard little little room. Not too much to say about it. Kind of working around. The other side is, is very similar. 
Uh, there is the ship's laundry here, kind of opposite the armory. Um, just because you need clothes cleaned. So I, I put that there. I tried to be practical in making the ship. And then this is one of the labs. Um, the Daedalus in my headcanon is kind of a converted military ship, so they kind of stick labs in wherever they can. Um, it's kind of all haphazard, like the Daedalus was a Romulan warship. Uh, this is the conference room, so it's kind of, you know, TNG, looky looky at my other shippy. Um, yeah, so if you haven't known, I also made a Saladin class a while back and actually put out a video. Um, so, yeah, and then moving back, I think we'll get on to deck. So, deck three is just kind of a more important deck. There's more techie bits. There are still quite a few just kind of officer, warrant officer cabins. The ship has about 180 people overall. Uh, warrant officers have a two to a cabin, uh, as do kind of officers, but they have a little bit more room. So there's officers and then senior officers. Again, they, there's not a huge amount of space on this thing. Um, there is sick bay here. Sick bay is kind of small itself. Uh, it has some nice windows, nice views. This is sort of dentistry table, that white thing. Uh, recovery beds. Storming on my world for some reason. Been doing that for a couple of days. This is the doctor's kind of office. You can kind of come here and say I have an itch. Uh, this is medical stores, so where they have pills and instruments and stuff like that. Um, there's a door over here that leads into the galley in case you need more room. Uh, this is the first actual deck that wraps around on the other side of the computer core, so in the center of the whole, you see that door here connects to sick bay, and then, yeah, this is where the, the majority of the crew come and they eat, and I, I can't jump apparently. Uh, they come in, this is the galley proper, you kind of get food there. Make the food there. Just little areas to sit, you know, talk to each other, and then just more cabins generally along the sides. Um, yeah, not too, not too fancy. On to deck four. So, deck four has another head. Just one of the comms rooms. This is where they can kind of decipher uh, codes and signals and make sense of what's going on. It's just kind of, I, I kind of threw that room together. Uh, this also has the auxiliary reactor, so the, the impulse engine is for the main hull. This is where they're powered, and this is also the backup to the main reactor, which is located in the cylindrical hull. Uh, this is another sort of circular deck. So there's a, a kind of maintenance room, the, uh, the gravitic lab. Uh, this is dark. Uh, really dark. I think I lit this up, but didn't, so give me a minute and I'll fix this. This is some on-screen building. This is incompetency at work here, people. Um, and then, yeah, there's just a couple of rooms like that. Oh, this isn't a circular deck. Well, yeah, there's one of the airlocks, just kind of, you have some spacesuits, walk through there, and get in and out of the, the hull. Uh, nothing too fancy there. This is one of the cargo holds. I tried to give the ship a cargo storage room. They don't have replicators at this point, so... So yeah, you kind of have to actually store all of the food for a mission. Now, you might actually put some in these corridors if you're really packed. So this is the solar, solar studies lab. So just kind of anything to do with the sun or probably planets as well. This is the other airlock on the other side of the hull. Uh, same with the cargo bay, just kind of a little area where you can throw some stuff in uh, for a trip. Yeah, nothing, nothing too fancy. Uh, I think we'll move on. So, deck five is a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's it's a little bit, a little bit bigger. Um. It has some more general quarters. This is one of the sort of maintenance rooms where you can bring stuff that's broke. You can see different ship systems. Jeffrey's tubes are probably accessed here. 
Uh, there's just more crew. This is sort of a normal crew quarter, just sort of four to a room. So four to a room for crew, two for warrant officers, two for general officers, and then really the, the senior officers are the only ones with their own cabins. Uh, this is the computer course, so this is kind of at the center of the, uh, the spherical hull. Kind of runs up and down several different decks. I tried to make a future computer core. I'm not really a computer guy, so this was just kind of guesswork. Uh, you can go up. There's a couple of different levels to monitor things, monitor connections and routes and all that sort of thing where you can access components. Uh, this is right at the top, right here, and then it kind of goes down, and it's the same thing. Not Nothing too too crazy. It's just kind of a, an area uh, where you can kind of sit and monitor things. Of course, the, the paintings are actual, like, techie displays, things like that. I don't use texture packs, so just use your imagination. And then it's much of a muchness over on this side as the other side. Um, yeah, no, nothing, nothing too fancy right here. We'll uh, we'll get on to deck six next. So deck six, uh, deck six is easily the largest deck. Uh, you can see it. This is the deck that actually connects between the spherical main hull and the. Uh, cylindrical main hull, so you can kind of look way aft. That's the shuttle bay in the distance. Uh, this is where the majority of the crew lives, so there's showers. Uh, I guess I went into the women's room, but don't worry, there's there's no one on. Um, and it's my ship. I'll, I'll do what I want if there's nobody in there. And then this is mostly crew quarters in through here. There's nothing too fancy about this part of the ship. Ignore the car if you heard it. Uh, the only real thing there is through here, life support for the ship. So this is kind of where air and water and all of that stuff is processed so the crew doesn't doesn't suffocate or get really dehydrated. And then the, uh, the missile room here, it's kind of largely empty right now. Um, missiles are just kind of in racks and they're fed up on these racks and then over and into the tubes. I tried to make it efficient, but also interesting. Um, in TOS, we, it's mentioned that, that the Romulan Earth War was fought with sort of uh, atomic missiles. So I, I've tried to use those instead of a photonic, totally not a photon torpedo that Enterprise used, just to make it interesting and not seem like, you know, show some kind of uh, um, development between different eras. So it's not always the same. And then, so after that, it runs aft, and this kind of area, this big area, is sort of a, where the crew can kind of gather and do stuff. The ship doesn't have a gym, so this is good for exercising, racing. This is the neck right here that we're in, it kind of connects. Uh, and now we're into that cylindrical bit proper. You can kind of see it, there's another, another head. Uh, stairway leading down. We'll, we'll check that out in a minute. Well, right now. Uh, so these are escape pods for the crew that live and work in, in this section. Uh, so this is how they can they can get out. I tried to put a lot of escape pods. And there's different crew quarters in this area. Uh, more escape pods. This is also where in, anyone in engineering would go. And then this is kind of the aft turbo lift. Um... Let's see, what else? Uh, we'll go up. There's not too much more in this deck. And then this deck, uh, I tried to give the ship, you can see the briefing room here where the engineer can talk to his guys. The light lads, the captain wants something impossible done. So, yeah. Uh, the ship also has some modules that you can kind of swap out. So right now in this module you just have more crew quarters. Um, and then the other module you have another sort of science labby area. Just because the ship is small, you want to be able to swap things out and configure it. Uh, this is the machine shop. I tried to just kind of add some techie bits, so um, we'll take a look at my, this is my idea of a 22nd century lace. 
uh, more crew quarters, just general through here. And then back here, we get to a sort of sitting area with different offices ringing it. So you can kind of look out, uh, see those the different ones. The, the purser has an office here, uh, right there. Um, then you can kind of look out onto the shuttle bay. We'll, we'll take a look at the shuttle bay here in, in a little bit. I mean, yeah, this is this is a fairly big deck. It's, it's easily the biggest in the ship. Um, there's quite a lot there, quite a lot going on. Um, and, yeah, I guess we'll take a look at the next one. So, deck 7 is the last kind of deck on the spherical main hall. After this, the decks get split. It, it's kind of a general purpose room. There's more escape pods in here. This is where the majority of the crew would go in an emergency to get in. Uh, so this is where they would head if they if they could. Um, if I can get out, and then the controls are getting kind of buggy right now. I apologize if this, if this video kind of jerks around. Um, up through here is deflector control. So it just kind of... I tried to extrapolate what a deflector would look like. You know, sort of... Uh, it's just kind of filler. Of course, we don't actually know. So this is, this is my guess. Just kind of a big projectory thing or telescope like doodad this is the lowest point you can actually get in the, on uh, this section walking around right here uh, and then we'll move this area in here is kind of storage for survival gear so this side is, is the same um, as that side and yeah that, that's kind of where you would go and then there's the lift maintenance. So this is the lowest deck of the lift, and you see those blocks are similar to right here. So I imagine that is a door where that lift can go into and you can do work on it, you know, grease the wheels, that sort of thing. Make sure it works because you don't want it crashing down. And so now we have the engine room. So we're back in the cylindrical part of the hull, not the spherical. Um, engine is fairly big. This is access. We, we saw this earlier, uh, kind of that stairwell up there. Um, if I can make this work. Ugh. Uh, so I imagine this ship using a big sort of spherical fusion reactor. I know the NX-01 used a matter-antimatter reactor, but I just to make things interesting and show some variation, I, I say that Starfleet kind of went with fusion reactors just for reliability after Enterprise, uh, ease of maintenance. So, you know, yeah, they're a little bit bigger, but they're they're more reliable and easier. Although the ship does also use matter-antimatter. Uh, there's not too much to see here. Uh, back here, this says Deck 10. This isn't Deck 10. It, it was a mistake. I, I got a little bit confused. We'll, we'll, we'll move on. And so, finally, we're going to kind of wrap up the interior of this tour uh, <clears throat> with a, just a quick look at the, the rest of the aft section. So this is the shuttle bay. Uh, by the way, the ship is actually available. Um, Patreon supporters of the channel have access to a Minecraft realm on Bedrock where they can kind of see this world and they can see the ships I'm working on. Uh, if you're interested, there is a link in the description. I guess if you made made it this far, that that might interest you. Um, this is the shuttlecraft right there, and then this is kind of that, that back deck. Um, so this is another airlock you can see here, kind of going through. Um, it's kind of connected to the same level. This is hard suit stores, so this is the work suits. If you're going to do work outside the ship, this is kind of where you go. And then that, that's that lift. That door there is to the engine room. Another airlock, and then just kind of, you can see the shuttles aren't huge. Uh, those are work bees up there, those yellow things. Uh, and then there's this gantry way, this catwalk. Uh, we saw that earlier, so this is on deck six. It kind of stretches back farther, so you see it up there. Uh, nothing too, too fancy. And then this catwalk just kind of goes up above um, to the work bees here, just kind of little things that you can get in and do maintenance outside the ship. So this is how you access those. 
And then also the small craft operations or shuttle craft operations room. This is where you control them. You can see the nacelles. Pretty good view, I think. Uh, it's quite nice. Um, and then down here, yeah, so the landing pad on the yellow. Uh, these are lifts that go down to that lower work level you've seen, and then there's uh, right here, actually. And this is just where the majority of shuttles are stored. This is where you do work on them. This is where those lifts come down. Uh, there's nothing too fancy. You can see them up there. Um, nothing too complicated or fancy about this room, this area. It's just kind of big open space to move shuttle, shuttles and work on them and do that sort of thing. Um, down here, we see um, the cargo hold. The cargo hold is a fairly big thing. It goes under that deck and up above. You can kind of see it there. Uh, this is the, the lowest deck of the ship right here. So this is the, the cargo hold. So you can unload shuttles and then kind of pile stuff down. And this is the main hold. So there's the smaller ones in the, um, the spherical hold, and then there's these ones. And this is where you store really bulk items. So, you know, just anything that you would need for a, a long voyage. And it kind of goes up. It's kind of wonky, but I, I wanted to make it an interesting kind of little space. So you can see some more stuff stored there. And then, then you can go through here. Uh, not too complicated. And I, that kind of wraps up the tour. On the inside, at least. And so that that is it for this video. I, I hope you like the ship. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next to build. I, I want to do something. I like these projects. They, they take a little bit of time, but they, they come out cool. Um... So let me know if you have any ideas on what I should build next. I think I'm going to do a Star Wars ship. Uh, not sure what kind yet, within reason, but I'm not afraid of building it sort of big. Uh, and as I say, this world is open to Patreon supporters. Um, there's a link in the description. You can you can support me on Patreon, and I'll I'll link you to this world if that's if that's something you're interested in. Um, I'll be I, I do think I'm going to make some more videos, whatever I build next, I think I'll do like more video reviews, like each week kind of make a, a quick video, just kind of showing my progress, instead of these long pauses while I build stuff, um, controls are really jerky right now, I apologize. Anyway, yeah, that's, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it, 